Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here with Rigget Picks. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a great and happy Sunday. Um, you know, Saturday still a lot of uh, soccer out there in action, a lot of late games that I had on the card, so uh, not done yet. But um, the stuff that is done, um, had two early winners, um, one soccer plus 180 winner, <clears throat> had an MPB winner, and then uh, had Everton plus a half a goal. They won Clemson minus 27. They... <laughs> They took care of business hard. Also, I had Clemson minus seven in the first quarter. I wanted to do Clemson everything, and I should have. They they, they took care of business, and then uh, Texas A&M Mississippi State had the first quarter over fourteen or over ten and a half, and uh, Texas A&M scored fourteen points in like two minutes in the second quarter, but nothing in the first quarter. So we lost that one. But so far, it's the only loser on the day, and uh, we're hoping everything else cashes out and takes care of business. Uh, you know, hoping for a solid day. So far, it's been a really good one. Uh, we'll take it. Um, also on a, a baseball game in the evening time. So, you know, lots going on. But NFL Sunday, we got uh, some good games. We got some ugly games. We got some so-so games, uh, just like every week. But I'm going to go with one of the uglier games, the Washington football team versus the New York football giants. Um, Numbers-wise, in head-to-heads and and what you're thinking, the Giants are favored in this game um, for, for a reason. Favored by three currently right now is what I see. Lines went dipped down to two and a half a couple times, but I'm just wondering if this is a bait and switch here. You know, like, <clears throat> if you look at the eye test, to me, Washington has the better defense if they're healthy. Um, New York has a maybe better offense. The Washington football team, they're struggling on offense. They're just, they're just struggling to find an identity is, is mainly what they're struggling with. Um, you know, they, they got decent players. Got a couple of Ohio State Buckeyes. So. No offense to any quarterback that's ever came out of Ohio State, but um, you guys typically are not decision-making quarterbacks. You're, you know, running backs most, most of the time. Um, but, um, you know, Ohio State's my boys. They're my boys. Don't get me wrong. Love what they do there in the Big Ten. Love what they do. Uh, throw touchdowns, all kinds of them. But it just it does not transfer to the NFL for whatever reason. It's just like USC, they struggle. They just struggle in the NFL. Is what it is. Anyways, um, Haskin on the bench. Kyle Allen starting. I think Alex Smith's waiting in the wings. Um, you know he's a been a decent quarterback. You know, and, and what that man has went through to come back is just amazing. Um, just hats off to him for going through all that to, to come back and, and play. And, uh, you know, even if it's the way he played, the small, just a little amount, he got to play again. And that's what his journey was all about. But let's look at the stats. The uh, Washington football team, it's going to be really hard not to say Redskins, but I will do my best not to do it after that. The total yards, 294 or 291.4 on offense to uh, New York's 301.2. So pretty evenly matched, 10 yards difference there. Um, you know, 10 yards difference in the passing versus the rushing. Um, Washington football team, 210 passing per game. Uh, Giants, 222. Uh, rushing yards, Washington football team, 81.4. Giants, 79. Um, defense, uh, not far apart. Washington gives up 375.4 yards per game. New York, 360.6 yards. So these two teams are very evenly matched. Um, if you look at who they have played this season, the Giants just almost beat Dallas. Uh, they lost 37-34. to 34. Um, Giants are getting better. Um, I don't want to say that they're better without Saquon Barkley, but they're almost better without Saquon Barkley. Um, but Dallas' defense is terrible. They will give up points to anybody they play. You know, the Washington football team hasn't got to play them yet this year, but when they do, I'm sure that they'll get yards on them. It's just how it goes. Uh, the Rams, they struggled pretty hardcore. Uh, they had a pretty rough game when they played the Giants. The Giants lost that game 17-9. They lost the, the 49ers, beat them 36-9. The 49ers are terrible. Um, and then they lost that close game to the Bears 17-13. Um, Lost to the Steelers. Go to the other side of the Washington football team. You know, the only win they have is a win versus the Philadelphia Eagles, 27-17. But the Eagles, they're not that great. The whole NFC East is just struggling. But 
They lost to the Cardinals. They lost to the Browns. Browns are good. Lost to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, don't don't need to announce them. They're pretty good. And then they lost to the Rams uh, just last week, coming off that um, slow, dismal win over the Giants. So the Rams were, were geared up and ready to go. So I don't think you can say, well, you can use that as a head-to-head -head because the one team had just come off the heartbreak. You know, the the we only beat these guys 17 to nine when we probably should have thrashed them. You know, we we need to do better. So, and they did. They did better. What I'm getting at is, I like the, the uh, Washington football team in this one. I'm going to take the plus three points at minus 125. I'm going to put a $50 bill on it. Uh, that's how I'm going to roll. So your official Gridiron Ricketts pop pick for this game is going to be the Washington football team plus the three points uh, for a $50 bill. Currently see it at minus 125. It's dipped down to two and a half a couple times. But, um, you know, you, you can find it at plus three right now. I've just seen it on uh, uh, Bavada, I think I was looking at. But, um... Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn notifications on. Give me a big old thumbs up if you appreciate true free daily sports betting advice each and every single day. I will be right here. I will see you guys here tomorrow. Have a wonderful, happy Sunday. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.